did y'all plan this? You kind of like, you compliment each other. Did you plan it? No. You compliment each other. You walked out and I was like, nice, earthy tones. <laughs> I, like, I am so excited y'all are here. I'm such a big fan of We're both excited of too. Oh, I, I literally, I've, I've never rubbed anything in my sister's face and this will be the thing that I just remind her of every <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yes, I'm like, she's the one who actually got me addicted to your show when it first came on and I was just like, oh my God. Like I loved y'all before, but it's just such a great show. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on the show. Being Thank such you. a huge hit. So you, you've been doing it, for, and I want to tell you, Jesse over there, uh, my, uh, my singer I work with, she's celebrating your show with a martini. Like, she loves oh, you. Like, I have some. <laughs> she, she's usually, she, I never really kept going so professional. I was like, she's usually, this, this is amazing. This is why we love Jesse. But also, she wanted to celebrate y'all. We're all very excited and honored that you're here. Thanks. So anyway, you've been doing the show for seven years now. Yeah, it's the so, longest running it original longest. Netflix show ever. That's amazing. Yeah. So, y'all, I know that y'all had to meet, like, way before, so when did y'all first meet? Well, uh, I was developing a movie called Nine to Five. It was not cast Never yet. <laughs> Never heard of it. With your friend, Dolly. Yes. Yeah, oh. but, I, but that, she, none of that existed. Lily Tomlin, Dolly Parton, I did, wasn't a television person. And I was developing it as a dark comedy, and um, I heard Lily Tomlin is downtown LA doing a one woman show called Appearing Nightly and I went by myself and I was I was just knocked off my feet I was totally smitten by her yeah. and I first met her going backstage and I said to myself I'm not making a movie about secretaries unless she's in it so I thought well, we're going to have to I change had a everything I had pad and I was like we're taking shorthand and <laughs> I had a typewriter That's how you got over the job <laughs> So do you remember that the first time that y'all met? Yes, yeah. I was I was totally knocked over because I was such a fan of Fonda's and uh, and I had a clute hairdo and everything. <laughs> <It's amazing>. So, <laughs> and, I love uh, it. so when she came backstage, it was really exciting for me. I think she was sort of trepidatious, but I was like, could I can I get like an autograph? Can I get like a? Aww. Can you get a note to my mother? <laughs> <laughs> Asking for all the things. It's amazing. Well, it must have been cool, like, working with Dolly. Like, were you kind of nervous because she'd never done, like, a big thing before? Uh, were you nervous? No. Working, I was nervous, but not because of her. I was... This one, I was nervous because of her. Oh, my God. Oh, I but... love that. When you're so inspired by someone and you're willing to... That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. wasn't sure I was going to behave or... <laughs> Oh, I... that's like working with Blake Shelton. <laughs> that's like <laughs> that's what my life is like on The Voice. So, oh, yeah. So I'm like, what's he gonna say? Um, so wait, is it true that Dolly might actually appear on Grace and Frankie? I heard that this was true. Okay, okay. I'm very excited. Yes. We're very so that was like the greatest. And she's yeah. on our last episode. We were just. So excited that the show was gonna end with the three of us. I know, that's what I'm saying, like, cause we really haven't seen that since I, so that's amazing, like kind of, a, and also her documentary is coming out, yeah. and nine to five, the anniversary of it. So it's like a lot of things kind of yeah. coming together at once. It's and, very and, cool. And, and the, the way she is in the last episode is just perfect. I mean, you couldn't think of a better way oh, what to a have tease. Dolly appear. I know it's a tease. That was oh a great God. tease. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little upset about it. I'm like, wait, what? Um, so wait, we're just a few weeks away from summer. I'd so like are to you be on a show with Blake Shelton? Are you? You would? Oh my that God! Would be, I, Actually, I, or is he as? That would be. So, you would love him, and it would be very funny what would come very, out of both of your mouths, <laughs> like at yeah. each other. Yes, he's very fun to work with. Oh, okay. he is. Do you want to know why? It's because probably how much y'all loved working. This is why I love working. He and John, it's it's really fun to work with people that um, can put their ego aside and just have a good time and like go in on each other and you know you love each other at the end of the day yeah. and you're good. Yeah. That's why it's so fun. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's there's nothing like it because I think Felix sometimes in this industry people can have doors up and they're afraid to look silly or afraid of what people are not being credible or afraid of all these right. things and right. that fear I think really um, you know stifles creativity and exactly. stifles a good time. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was on he was on Reba when I did her show. I know, I yeah. know, I know, I know that. It's really was... adorable. I know. So you you worked with him. You yeah, I him. did. You never told me that. Well, I don't tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh I am really disappointed. <laughs> like, like, you know, I. 
I have not worn heels in two years. Oh, that's and the one positive about the pandemic. Much less strap-on <laughs> heels. So when we were headed here, I said, Lily, I've got to, I've got to hold on to you when I come on. <laughs> See, I tell you everything. <laughs> I said, oh, and you, I'm never going to wear and heels you again. And you leave out run-ins with Blake Shelton. <laughs> Congratulations on all the success of the show. Are you? I don't know. Is, is it hard to say goodbye to these these characters you've been playing? Because do you feel like these characters have kind of become a little of you or a little of you is in them? Uh, well, you can see by like the way we're dressed, that would probably show you that a lot of us are in them. In them. <laughs> a lot of them is in us. A lot of them is in us. A lot of us is in them. <laughs> Whichever way you cut it. It's a it. different show. <laughs> <laughs> so are you so y'all afraid of the characters like leaving them behind? Well, I, we cried. I cried. She probably didn't cry. I, I cried. did cry. Um, I cried more than you cried. No, oh, no, <laughs> you didn't. And I have a film to prove it. No, I cried more than she did. I mean, she... She was crying because she... A lot of the people were, like, sort of... They were applauding us, you know, but she was fearful that they were applauding because she was leaving. <laughs> How can you resist you, that? You were teed up. Look at her. You were look at teed me. up. <laughs> get, get her a martini, just. Oh my God! <laughs> it's not that. It's not anything so horrible. Yeah. Oh my no, gosh, it was okay. sad. It was sad. We were together. Sad. There's I, also something to be said for a regular job, right? Yeah, you know, and very much being, so. Yeah. Us being musicians, literally, we got this job, and then COVID hit, and all our musician friends didn't have work for like a couple years. We really lucked out because all our people are on the road, and nobody was able to work. So we get that. We had yeah. jobs during that time. Yeah. It was very, very cool. Yeah. I yeah. have to apologize for being so. It's just my. It's it's just ruthless. My... You're ruthless. No, my. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm just. I don't know when to shut up. No, but this that's why it's you. so awesome. You never know what's coming. This is what's awesome about Blake. See, this would. I need a, you and Blake. I need y'all to do a movie with Blake. You know what? If you okay. can get him to we... work. <laughs> I'll do it. That guy doesn't like. That cowboy likes being on his ranch. He doesn't like to work. But actually, that would be amazing. Like, I are y'all? What are y'all doing next? Because I am excited as a fan. Like, are y'all should do something. Do a fun movie. Are well, you gonna do that? Well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. We've I actually that. already done one, and we're gonna start another one. Two movies. Okay. Okay. I know, but I want to do. Are you gonna do one based on these characters at all? No. Mm -hmm. No. No. Fine. <laughs> Fine, don't give the people what they want. Um, no, I just, I love these characters. It was just such a, a fun, fresh idea. I agree, I, I think. How about a movie with Tom Brady? <laughs> Not too shabby. Better I'd, watch out, Blake. So many football jokes right now. <laughs> really? So wait, <laughs> like, never mind. Um, so wait, how would you, how would you, <laughs> how would you describe the importance of female friendships in your life? Because that's what I feel like, I, literally, Jess and I were just talking before y'all came out here, and she was like, this show, you have no idea what it meant for me. And I think, and for females in general, like, I have always had, like, solid female friendships. Like, I feel like, they're the friendships, no offense to men, but I can really go deep and we can really talk, we'll just very, be very vulnerable and work stuff out. Like, do you feel like that's been helpful for you through yeah, your Yeah, totally. Male friendships are facing outward, side by side, looking out, oh, look at her, Bob, boobs. <laughs> yeah, no. God, what a great car. And, oh. and always gonna do a touchdown, you know that. Women yeah. friendships are face to face, right? Yeah. And it's like, can you help me? I'm really lost. Yeah. Can you help me? And you'll take oh. me in your arms. Were you we're not afraid to ask for help. <laughs> we're not afraid to express vulnerability. Yeah. We can, we just, we drill down to kind of soul level very fast, women do. Do you think that's a societal thing, though? That boy, Because boys, like, I'm, I'm raised totally. in the South. They're raised not to do that, I feel that's like. That's right. Which is a shame. Don't because... express need. Yeah. Don't ask for help. Um, you know, keep it on the surface. Yeah. It's one of the strengths of weak. women, yeah. that's right, is but that we're strength. not afraid of that, and it's one of the things that gives us strength. You know, that there is, I'm sorry, I'm doing all the talking. That's all right. It's all, it's I've, okay. I've already lived it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's true, actually. <laughs> And that's the truth. Oh my God. 
Anyway, there's a, there's a Harvard Medical School study that shows that for women, lacking women friends is as dangerous for their health as smoking. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot to be said for women friendships. I we just have to teach men how to yeah. do friendship differently. And maybe and there needs to be more okay wars to do it that way. Uh, yeah. To say that it's okay to do it that way, like I said, with the guys I grew up with, I think they were taught to have barriers. And yeah. Oh, whatever. yeah, they don't need anyone. They yeah. Can. Have you had strong female relationships like your whole life? Yes, yes, Me indeed. Too. Here's one right here. Yeah. <laughs> I love y'all. More than 40 <laughs> years, almost 50. 70. 50. 50. Oh 50 my years. Oh my God. <laughs> she said, wait. <laughs> So wait, so how, how, is, how have y'all, over those, that many, that much time, there's obviously been ups and downs in your lives, like how, how, how do you think the other has kind of helped you? And like, not only your career, maybe your personal life. What I did is I learned, uh, because she had already examined her life so thoroughly, right, written like three books mm. about her life. About myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love about, you. about your life, really. And so uh, I just I just chucked searching my life and I just adapted. I jumped on her. <laughs> I molded. Her. I jumped on her and I just thought I would live her life kind of vicariously because she'd already done all the research. You didn't have to. I love, you're that kid in school. <laughs> like looking at the paper on the other one. <laughs> That's amazing.